everybody, welcome to the Weekly Fix. As always, I'm Neil. News from across the pond, we're going to be talking about Europe. KTM's got something going on. Triumph, is there a bobber coming out? Maybe. And Ducati, one of my favorite brands, releasing a new 939. And, update from Polaris. Check it out. Alright, so kicking off our European edition, first up is Austria's KTM. Looks like they're revamping the 1190s. So, as far as we can tell, no, these are spy shots. Some leaked information, our guys are working hard, getting us the, the black ops information. Looks like LED lighting, which I think you're gonna see across the board on almost every bike nowadays. Ducati's been doing it for a while anyways. Um, they're talking about a noise, not canceling, but a silencing system to make this bike a little bit quieter. Um, also, there's a fairing change that they're not really talking about because the whole bike was wrapped anyways, no pun intended, under wraps. And the big, big question with this bike is, is it coming to the US? Because as we know, the 1290 was a big one when they did the Adventure and the Adventure R, but now we're looking at 1190, so it looks like they might be going back a little bit, maybe making a bike that's a little more trail friendly, I don't know. But regardless, keep your eyes on this one because again, KTM has been killing the Adventure bike market. All right, and now this time from Italy, one of my favorite places, pizza, pasta, all the good stuff, and some darn good wine, Ducati 939 Monster. Now this one makes sense to me because the Hypermotar came out last year, a revamp in a 939 motor. And you think about it, Monster 821, Monster 1200, 1200, I think it was S, they make a race version. This is gonna fit nicely right in between there. Looks like right now, they don't have the specs on the horsepower, but it looks like an upgraded Olin suspension. Again, the trellis frame, the way this bike looks, the way it looks like it's gonna perform, is probably gonna be a little bit more zingy, if you can say that, over the Hyper Motard, but at the same time, still a classic monster format. So again, Ducati, great job, you, I love your bikes. This one, I truly cannot wait to see, because this should be kind of that, that middle bike and a slayer on the bigger bikes. All right, and the speculation has ended for Triumph. Looks like they are going to make it. The name's been taken, trademark. The Bonneville Bobber is going to happen. Now, we were kind of joking about this earlier that it looks, or what I like about Triumph is they're taking cues from, from us. And people were converting the bike anyways into a single-seater bobber, so they're gonna do this. Now, a couple things, and again, these are another spy thing. Where they're giving us some facts, but not all of them. We do know it's based on the T120 platform, so that's a 1200cc motor. Uh, another thing I was able to read, and this is really about it, is a single disc in the front. So maybe they're looking at compatibility, swapping wheels, tires, I don't know what they're going to do. But this thing looks pretty sick. It's a single seater, it's low, it's mean, and it's a Triumph. So how can you go wrong? Regardless, this one's going to be another one to keep your eyes on. All right, and now on to the UTV updates. And as you know, I am waist deep into this stuff right now. We've been test driving, we've been doing everything. <laughs> Polaris Razor update, turbo, recall. We still don't have anything. And honestly, I mean, you guys, Polaris, you guys know, we're just waiting. People are asking us what's happening. People were also getting, you know, questions and calls and concerns about, uh, you know, Camp Razor. Is it just gonna be a Halloween weekend? Or is it going to New Year's? We don't know, but the main thing is to keep us posted, the public, everybody, man, because we love the brand. We just need to know what's going on. Somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you. And talking about brands, Can-Am. I'm telling you guys, this is the alpha predator. This is the mean machine. And seriously, because I've been in it. Uh, my cameraman, Zach, went to Arizona and he rode that thing for two hours. So I'm super jealous about that. Same feedback, stable, fast, intuitive driving. Now this kind of leads to where I was a few days ago at Glen Helen with some of my coworkers riding the new Yamaha with the sports ship. Same kind of thing, foot on the floor. Crank, 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 crank. Engine brake, down, down, down. I kept thinking the motor's gonna jump out of the motor mounts, but it didn't, and it was super fun, fast, and that was a car that I loved driving. So thank you Yamaha for letting me come out. And we have some great, great POV footage. We're gonna get up on that thing, because it was fun. I mean, you gotta hear that motor sing. Three cylinder, nothing wrong with it. Great times, again, Polaris, operators are standing by, man. Let us know. All right, last but not least, I figured I had better explain my shirt. Shout out to my friend Dallas Spencer. This is his band. They just dropped their debut album, Old Blood, on bandcam.com. So make sure, please, give these guys a listen. It's five bucks, five dollars. You can barely eat a Taco Bell for five bucks. But honestly, these guys, they're killing it. Great music, great sound, and they're totally into the music. So please, please, give them a listen. Make sure you click, which I don't know where it's going to be at, but somewhere, give them a listen, check it out, whatever it's going to be. Give them a shout, give them a listen. Love these guys.